Hey guys, look at this. We're in the Keys today. This place is beautiful, but look at this, guys. It's like it doesn't have any water left. It looks like God just took all the water out, all of it. But no problem. We still have enough water right here that we could play around with this Saki paddle board, which, by the way, I like so far a lot because it is very wide, super stable platform, considering it's a paddle board. I love those pantries right there. Super awesome stuff. And guys, this thing comes with a kayak seat. This video has been sponsored by Saki. They sent me over this paddle board for me to make videos for you guys. We caught fish on this already. Today, we just have it here having fun. Andres gonna get on it. And he's probably gonna fall because he's a kid. Right, Andres? The camera, Andres. Careful with my camera. <laughs> Later. I'm doing a sponsored video. <laughs> Anyways, guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it out, do some paddling around, get a feel for it. And now, after that, we're gonna get Andres on it, and then we're gonna put the kayak seat and do some, some trial run with the kayak seat. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, nice. You see that? It has a little thing to hold it together. That's nice. We got a standard fin. You know what this means? It means we're gonna be able to put a bispy on this paddle board super easy. So this is a repair kit that you have here. This tool is to make sure that the bulb is lock down properly before you start putting air on this paddle board and then you got repair material right here that you can use in case something happens you're gonna have to glue it never repaired one of these before because i never had to so it's saying that in hot weather summertime inflate to 12 or 13 psi and it's not gonna start reading until it gets to five so that's what we're gonna be doing now we're gonna inflate this board Whew. Dude, that was quite a workout. Like my arms are jacked up. You don't even have to go to the gym after this one. Look at this, I'm even sweating. But you could just do it with a pump that it comes with, or you could buy yourself a fancy inflator, which I recommend, unless you want to work out. Oh my God, I felt like I'm going to the gym. Like this should be my weekend workout. Deflate this thing on a weekend inflator, and that's it. It's like I went to the gym for like a whole week. Look at this. This place is like devoid of water, but there's a cuda there. We're gonna catch it later. Don't worry, we're gonna catch you. Paddle boards, they move a little, but still, you know, you get a feel for it and you could just go, seriously, you could just go. Like, I'm gonna go right now. Of course, I'm gonna get the espers. That's not how you paddle. This place looks so different when it's full of water, but it's still, you could appreciate its majesty. And just being on a paddleboard just makes it a lot easier. Look at that jellyfish. Oh my God, we're gonna run over it. Huge one. Nice mojarras, big ones, dude. Whew. This paddleboard just moved. And then when you're dealing with a lot of shallow water like this, it's a dream to have it. You could just remove the fin if you need to, so you don't break it. But you could get really shallow on this, for sure. You're standing so high. You see the snappers before they see you? This is some epic stuff. I wanna do some casting here. See what's up. Put the paddle board, paddle down. Get my rod. Bye 
herbivores tend to move a little, but not too much. They add a little wobble, but you won't lose your snappers. Big snappers. Whew. Whew. Watch out for the kill. Kill is not covered on the warranty. Hey guys, we're gonna transform this paddleboard now into a kayak. This easy, guys. Alright guys, we're gonna do a little bit of kayak demo. Can you believe we transformed this boat into a kayak? I like this. I feel at home here. Now, I wanna see how good it is paddling. This paddle is, for kayak is not the best, but hey, it's a transformer kayak. You can use it as a paddleboard or as a kayak. You see this? I'm not even pushing myself hard. I'm going slowly here. Look at this, guys. Epic stuff, look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm moving. Now, let's see how this thing tracks. I'm just gonna let it go. Remember, there's a lot of current here. Wow. It just kept going straight. Woo. That's nice, guys. Say you saw a fish, you wanna catch a fish. Just cast. Andres, you're gonna love it as a kayak. We're starting on 1.8, two miles an hour, 3.2 miles an hour, four miles an hour. 4.3 miles an hour, 4.8, 4.9, 5 miles an hour. Woo. Okay, guys, we hit 5 miles an hour going fast that way. We, I think we got a little bit of current, so let's see. If we go this way, how fast can we take it? 2.2, 2.3 miles, 3.5, 3.9, 4, let's hit it up. 4.4, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8. 4.9, let's get it to five, five. <sighs> I wanna see just slowly paddling, see how fast we, we push it. Is it going two miles an hour? Let's see if it stays at the two miles an hour. 3.2, I'm just putting the blade on the water as you can see. And you saw earlier, it tracks magnificently. I think we dip enough here that we can cross over. Yeah, I'm making a video. I do. Wow, this thing paddles very nice as a kayak. I'm loving it. Guys, look at this. The tie is coming back. It's not a little tie anymore. This is sweet. How is the water? A little hot. But as a kayak, it paddles very nice. You got Andres on this. Like, he's never been on a paddle board before. Well, actually, he has many years ago. You need to spread your feet so you maintain your balance in the middle. There you go. You're good? Yeah. You're good at? <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, you gotta stand and paddle on your own. Okay. Come on, kids five years old would do it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oops. So we have this Bisbee set up right here. Let's go ahead and put this up here. Actually perfect right there. So we're right here. One of my favorite places on planet Earth. This is Deering Point. And it's one of my favorites because it's close and I get to go fishing from here. There used to be a lot of snapper here. A lot of people will catch a lot of snappers here, but you know, they caught too many of them. <laughs> Putting the rods in there. Deep enough. Alright, that's deep enough. 
Alright. Okay, we're out. Let's turn. Whew, this is the life right here. We're gonna go straight to Chicken Key. We're not playing around today. I'm loving this setup. It was quite easy to set it up. I'm gonna be using this paddle as the rudder, basically. But this boat tracks pretty well. Like I was surprised yesterday how well it tracked. It's possible that on the way back, we're gonna have to remove the beast beam and just paddle, but that's not a problem because this thing, this thing paddles very well. I wonder if we do this. I wonder how fast we're going, man. What? Guys, I think we just missed like five fish because we want to make a video first. That's what's up. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm basically turning that way. Look at this turn, this is crazy guys. I can't believe how well this setup is working. <laughs> Look at the, how we turn man, this is incredible. You know what guys, I'm gonna put this camera back here on my chest because I need to do some fishing. I, I need to catch me some fish. Whoa guys, we made it to Chicken Key. Chaser, small one, but we got a chaser. There's one over there. There's one in front of me, they're tiny. <laughs> this is the life right here. This is, this is so much easier, seriously. We're gonna park around here, park and pull. Yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> Ooh, we got fish, guys. I saw something going after it. Could be it could be a jack. Whatever it is, it's it's mean. Oh it's a cuda guys. Mean cuda guys. Mean cuda. Oh this is a mean cuda. Look at this. Oh hopefully we don't lose it. Easy. Ha! Perfect eating size cuda. Let's use the uh, Guggen Rat and measure it because this is a nice cuda. Nice. I just saw it like jump over there and I go. Easy boy. Easy. Okay. We got one there. This one is 18. It's too small. Let's let it go. But hey. Got a cuda on the paddleboard, guys. This is huge right here. Chicken key. Now let's get more. But let's go ahead and let this one go. Hey, it's loose. It doesn't want to leave. Damn, let's go. Okay, so the plan is to put another. Dude, and my camera just stopped recording. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, my camera just stopped recording. And I got the mother bite. Uh, incredible, but you'll see it. It's right here. Number two. It's a small one, but we got a bite. Like a nice bite. J 
jets the jets are over here but the sound is way back here ha <laughs> it's incredible well guys we made it back to Deering Point it was a nice day on the water we caught two kudas really I wasn't even planning to catch fish I just wanted to get on the water with the fishing setup and do some videoing <laughs> we did that and we caught kudas so sweet beautiful day here today um I'm gonna get out of the water right now because I'm super, super tired and I'm gonna do more work.